the last hour, the Israeli Prime Minister has admitted his forces carried out an airstrike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza. Benjamin Netanyahu said it was a tragic incident of unintended strike on our, of our forces on innocent people in the Gaza Strip. It is now understood at least two British nationals were among those killed when their car was hit yesterday. But with some major aid deliveries paused since the killings, what will this latest development mean for those in desperate need of food? And how will it impact what happens next in the conflict? Charlie Frost has the latest. Hey, this is Zomi and Chef Olivier. We're at the Jirabala kitchen um, and we've got the mise en place. Um, they call themselves chefs for the people. Zomi Francom, a volunteer helping provide millions of meals every week to displaced Palestinians. But last night, after unloading 100 tonnes of humanitarian aid brought to Gaza by boat, the branded vehicle Zomi and her colleagues from the World Central Kitchen were travelling in was hit in an Israeli airstrike. I uncover this image and um, it's kind of blurry, it panned across and then like, I saw Zomi's face and I like, yelled. It's kind of like a mix of devastating and then you're just numb and... I don't know if it's fully hit me yet, but it's been a pretty, it's been pretty rough. Zomi, an Australian national, was one of seven killed, with at least two from the UK. The others from Poland, Palestine, and a dual citizen of Canada and the US. The Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, calling for a full explanation from Israel. But the World Central Kitchen says it had coordinated its movements with the Israeli military. Its chief executive saying in a statement, This is not only an attack against WCK, this is an attack on humanitarian organizations showing up in the most dire of situations where food is being used as a weapon of war. This is unforgivable. In response, Israel has called the strike unintended, its military spokesperson expressing his deep condolences. We have been reviewing the incident in the highest levels to understand the circumstances of what happened and how it happened. We will be opening a probe to examine this serious incident further. This will help us reduce the risk of such an event from occurring again. The World Central Kitchen has now paused its operations in Gaza, while another charity that had been working closely with them has announced it's doing the same. With reports from Cyprus saying ships carrying hundreds of tons of aid are now turning back, an outcome that will only worsen an already desperate humanitarian crisis.